You haven't heard the last of MTA service cuts. This time, it's hitting the Long Island bus. Greg Mocker went out to check out the problem. We've all been slammed by MTA service cuts over the past year. Subway lines rearranged, some buses gone. Nassau County, now it's your turn. Nothing compares with uh, what's about to happen to the folks who rely on Long Island bus. Entire buses could just vanish. I've reported on this a few times in the past few months, but it's uh, this kind of pamphlet that gets neighbors anxious. Changes in the levels of service or termination of service. And those neighbors said to me, hey, Mocker, you haven't been talking enough about it this week. One guy even called me out on YouTube. That was news to neighbors. It's always the city, isn't it? I, I cannot watch PIX11 news anymore because it seems to them as if Long Island does not exist. So I said to John, hey, let's go for a ride. You just have to look over in our next door county at Suffolk Transit. Uh, there'd be much less service uh, and, you know, no evening service, no Sunday service. It would, it would be much, I mean, there's no way you can run a bus system on $4 million. Now, you kind of picked on me. You, you, said, uh, you said that I didn't get out here enough. Well, I just, I was frustrated with a lot of the medias because they've been ignoring this issue. It's not, it wasn't just 11. And here comes the bus right All now. Right, right on time, too. Oh, I always see there's a sign over there that yeah, says service may be reduced. So the MTA's been doing a very good job informing us. What kind of things do you think are going to happen? Do you, do you think you might end up paying more? You might. I uh, think not we're going to wind up paying you. more. I think that... If the bus routes do remain like this one, they're going to be running significantly less often, and they're going to be much, much more crowded to the point where people are going to be fighting to get on the bus. And in the evenings, in the weekends, you'll probably be left stranded. Well, and your, your Metro card, we don't know how And the Metro card work. may not work, forcing me to pay a lot more. And at that point, it might actually be cheaper for me to take the train the Long Island Railroad. Do you feel a little abandoned by the by the MTA, by the county? I do feel abandoned by both the MTA and Nassau County because it seems that I don't think they'd be doing this to any other system but us. Because I think that it's because a lot of the people who ride Long Island bus are, are poorer and don't have the same kind of pull that the people that take the train do. For instance. Well, what do you want people to know? Then? The people in power, what do you want? I want the people to know that this bus system is an integral part of Nassau County. The MTA didn't provide any money for Long Island bus in its upcoming budget. So the man with the power now is County Executive Ed Mangano. How are you going to be able to do it for $4 million? Well, we have uh, opened up a public process. There hasn't been a recommendation yet, but there has been a number of respondents. Should riders be prepared for higher fares? It'll come out as part of the process. We'll have to take a look at what the private uh, vendor is proposing. And that now, let's not uh, make the MTA out to be the, the big bad guy in this. Nassau County has not paid its, uh, its fair share. That's why the MTA yanked the money. Three bids for a private contractor. They say they'll come in and they'll try to run the system.